Our next guest is the, is the producer of this act. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, Mason's lovely mother, so welcome, please, Mrs. Sonia Reese. <laughs> You're starting up with me. <laughs> you think this, this lady's Mom, a... wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're wearing one of those fucking devices, too. Yes, I am. <laughs> you're wearing two of them. I'm taping everything you're saying. I know. <laughs> he wants to keep that conversation to himself. When, when did you first discover, Mrs. Reese, that this young man was a, a bit precocious? At what age? <sighs> Let's see. <laughs> He was born April 11th, I'd say April 12th. <laughs> <laughs> he is, uh, to say the least, an unusual child. Don't start on wisecracks, Mom. <laughs> What'd he say? Don't start on wisecracks, Mom. Oh, I see. How do you and he get along? Fabulously. Yeah. We yell, we fight, but we love each other a lot. And we also kill each other a lot. <laughs> There was, your, your, your other children are 18, 17, and 16, then there was a long dry period, and then along came Mason. <laughs> Surprise package, eh? Oh. Is that Planned Parenthood, Mrs. Reese? No, that's Unplanned Parenthood. <laughs> I, see. I have the same kind of family, so I sympathize with you, yes. And there's a story pertaining to cornflakes, which I'm told is unusual. Well, that's when Mason's funny bone started out. Emma, let's look. What? Sonja Reese. Well, they spell it wrong all the time. <laughs> I'm used Can't to it. Can't win them all. Okay. <laughs> Is it Sonia, S-O-N-Y-A? I-A. I-A. Oh, there are many ways to spell Sonia. Yes, there are. The cornflake story. Though. Well, Mason's first job was a photographic job, which is a print job. And uh, we got a very sassy photographer who was very tough on kids. How old was Mason at Mason the time? Mason was four at the time. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, listen, Mason, lift up that cornflake and smile, smile. And Mason says, what's so funny about a cornflake? <laughs> <laughs> I go along with Mason. Then I can <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Is that the end of the story? That's it. <laughs> oh, well, that's a good ending. Were there any other stories uh, about the early days in commercials? Well, uh, the stories that I have to tell about Mason, I... Uh, he there seems some in that a good I mood, I There's think. some that I can't tell. I see. There is one of my favorites that... Uh, when Mason and I were walking down the street and everything was going fine, we were very loving to one another. And then he asked me for something, and I said no. And he turned to me and he said, you know what, suddenly you've just turned rotten. <laughs> <laughs> Was it one of your better days when he made that comment, Mrs. Reese? Yes. Well, does he have good call me Sonia, Sonia does Mrs. He have Reese good is his does grandmother. He, I see. Does he have good and bad days? Or is he pretty even-tempered? I would say he's pretty even-tempered. All of us kind of go to draw on him for this joy that he's talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Except for today. <laughs> is he... <laughs> is he kind of uh, a mama's boy, Sonia, or more... Is it... Does no. he kind of spread it around? No, he's daddy's boy. Is he? Yeah, definitely. How long has it been since you've seen your dad, Mason? Only a couple of days. A couple of days? Don't you miss him? No. Nope. What is it? Well, then I won't bother bringing him out. <laughs> I'm gonna have something for you. What? Yeah? The uh, lions. Oh, that's when he's doing something wrong and I, I can't really get to him and I see him from a distance, I go, which means I'm throwing him to the lions. That's oh, what you're I doing see. with me now? You know, on yesterday. I'm at a distance. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I have a feeling this is going to be the longest seven minutes in history. <laughs> seven minutes? Yesterday. We're 
to get some minutes. Well, I... I'm going to be on here for the whole wide show. I know. <laughs> but thank... I'm a co-host, you know. I know, but that's thank right, you. He's, that's right, he's the big wheel this week. He does You're the... going to be on for a whole <laughs> Is my time up yet? (laughs) Am I a bad influence on him? Because I think he's very funny. No, I think you're a good influence on him. I want to bring his father out. Okay, Mason? Do you want to bring your dad out? Why don't you introduce your father? Let me hear what you tell America about your father. Is he here? Tell us a few personal things. Yes. Yes, he's here. He's He's here. Is he here? Believe me. Mason. Mason. Believe me. Will Bill Reese please stand (laughs) up? You're welcome, Bill Reese. Take the hot seat. <laughs> yeah, for, you, for you people out there watching this show, nobody's cueing this young man or his mother. This is all coming right off the top of their heads. Will the real Bill Reese please stand up? You see, he's a television baby. Everything he relates to... Well, no, no. I know. No, I'm sorry. Let me, let me explain that. Let me explain that, Mason. That you started. You grew up with, noth- with television. You were never we without did. it. You see, when I, no? when I was your age, there was no television. Oh. In fact, there was no radio when I was your age. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Bill, it's good to see you. Nice to see you, Mike. We talked briefly when Mason was here last, and I, I'm just so pleased that he's able to co-host the show this week. He's doing a marvelous job. Well, I admire you, your courage. <laughs> and because uh, he's, um, he's quite a boy. What do you mean you don't, mi- you don't miss me? I heard I that. I said I do. Oh, no, I no, no. Oh. I see you said it's been two days, and I said, do you miss him? You said, nope. It's only been two days. <laughs> and he's always upstaging his mother, which tell, is... You know. Yeah, tell me about uh, his reading habits. He reads at what level? Between 10th and 11th grade. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's incredible. Um, Does he attend a, a public school? He attends a Montessori method school, which Marvelous. is... Um, Marvelous. Allows him to progress pretty much at his own pace so that if he doesn't feel a sense of urgency or competition that a lot of other schools have. It allows him to grow more easily in some subjects and uh, more slowly in others if he has trouble with them. Now at the Montessori school, do they have the kind of PTA meetings and things that we have at the schools that we're from? <coughs> yes, even more so because the Montessori school we uh, are affiliated with is a parent work program. We must give at least 24 hours Mm -hmm. in aggregate work for the school during the course of the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do, and gladly so, because it keeps us involved with the kids. Indeed. We're going to visit more with the Reese's following this. We'll be right back. (laughs) 